Hello and welcome back. Today I am going to go over five pieces of equipment that you should get to help you start a home gym on a budget. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'm going to show you how to save 40 bucks. However, before we get into that, make sure you smash the like button, make sure you subscribe, share this with friends, and if you've already subscribed, thanks, I appreciate it. All right guys, so let's just jump into the computer. The first thing you're gonna wanna get is a mat. This is the one that I would get because it's on sale and it's only 22 bucks. Check here, you've got a whole bunch of different colors. So you can go with whatever color you like, whatever color, doesn't matter. Anyways, so we're gonna add that to the cart. And then the next thing we're gonna go for is we're going to go for a jump rope. Now jump ropes are a gazillion different kinds. They range in price. Um, they come with adjustable ones. They come with weighted ones. They come with, um, let's see, weighted handles. The ones I use have weighted handles but you don't need to get any of that. You can go with something, just a very simple one like this. This one's eight bucks. We're gonna go with this one because it's 7.99 and we're trying to do inexpensive here. So we're gonna add that one to the cart. Uh, the next thing I would suggest getting is an ab roller. Uh, the reason for an ab roller is because it works your abdominals, works your lats, works your um, shoulder muscles, your low back, um, your abs also helps you with your stability and um, control. So we'll go with this one. All right, now we come to the last two pieces of equipment, which are going to be the most expensive. You're gonna to wanna to get an adjustable bench, one that if you decide to go with a rack later on or a power cage, then you can use that in the future. And an adjustable bench also just gives you a whole huge variety of ways that you can use it for flies and dumbbell presses and shoulder presses and an enormous amount of other other things this one here is a good one and it's inexpensive that's the one we were going to go with we're going to throw that into our cart and remember i'm going with least expensive that's that's the goal here for what i'm doing and i'm going to show you how to save 40 bucks on this whole thing here in a minute all right so that's that we got all that added in and the last thing you want to get is a set of adjustable dumbbells. Now there's a whole slew of adjustable dumbbells you can get. Bowflex, I think, has a set and a bunch of other companies have sets and they're the ones that are, you know, you can adjust it and then it lifts up a certain amount of weight, but we're going for inexpensive. So this here is a set of dumbbells. You can get it in all kinds of different sizes. Uh, the pair that I have selected right now is 105 bucks, or I'm sorry, 105 pounds. It's $168. This is where you can save some money. So you can get a pair which comes with two bars and 105 pounds of weight, or you can go with the 52.5 pound single, right? And that's 6618. So that's only one bar and it's 52 and a half pounds. However, that costs 66 bucks. So times two, that's $132. So if you click on quantity and just put two of them, you've now added a total of $132. Okay, so it saves you $36, basically 40 bucks. So you do that and then there you go. You've got a, set, a double set of dumbbells with weight up to 105 pounds, which if you're just starting out, that is going to last you for a while. You, it's in five pound increments and then I think two and a half pound increments. So you're able to adjust it to suit your needs. You've got a bench so you can do bench press, incline bench press, and that bench will also serve you well if you decide to upgrade to a cage. You got an ab wheel roller, which is going to work your entire core. You got a jump rope. This is going to be good for your cardio. And you've got a mat so that you don't blow out your knees. If you're an old dude like me. That is a critical thing. Anyways, that total price gets you started for $290. So less than 300 bucks, you can start off your home gym and get rolling. If you are at a point where you wanna get a cage, you don't wanna spend a ton of money and you're just wondering if there's a good and expensive one out there, put a link right there to a video I did reviewing the power cage that I have. It is awesome and it works really great. All right, guys, that is it for how to start a home gym on a budget. That will get you started for under $300. You can always 
go to like Rogue Fitness. I have no affiliation with them, but they have good equipment. You can spend thousands and thousands of dollars. If you want an even less expensive way and save yourself even $300, you can watch this video here for some bodyweight exercises and just get started with bodyweight exercises. As always, have fun, keep getting stronger.